majority of MSPs won't back something until they politically have no choice to back it. Now, there's two area, there's two uh, dimensions to that pressure. Either it comes from the top of their party and they get told through a memo or something, this is your position on this now, or they, 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 are, uh, they are pressured uh, from their constituents and the public. Now, while the drug crisis is certainly making headlines and there's a lot of great organising and work going on to keep that pressure up, uh, we have to work harder to get the average punter on the street who's probably quite sceptical of anything that, that is, is not uh, punitive <laughs> with respect to people with addiction problems, uh, to bring that pressure from the outside. And that's really how an MSP then develops the courage um, and, to be perfectly frank, the, the self, uh, self-interest um, to follow that pressure. Because they know if they don't do what their constituents want them to do, then they might not get elected again. And uh, aye, it's uh, it's it seems obvious to describe it, but obviously it's it's not as simple as that from the politician's point of view. Should they back it? Of course they should back it. I don't understand why they haven't. Uh, they're basically they're basically uh, saying that this is an issue that they can afford to play politics on which is why they aren't backing it. Because intuitively we understand this is the right way to go.